A relay is an electrical switch. So again, it's, an, it's, it's a switch, but this is not automatic switch. So it's a switch that open and close under the controls of another electrical circuit. So we use the circuits to open and close a switch. And uh, the switch is operated by electromagnet to open or close uh, one or many sets of contacts. So this is an electromagnetic relay. And from here, you can see that the length is about uh, 3 cm, uh, 2 and a half to 3 cm. Okay. And then so you can see that there's an uh, electromagnet here. There is a, a input output here. Okay. The switch uh, is here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to explain to you how it works. Okay, so this is the illustrations of an electromagnet relay. Electromagnet relay. Uh, usually, inside an electromagnet, there is at least two circuit. At least two circuit. It can be more than two circuit, but at least it must have two circuit. Uh, first, you see, there's a circuit here. This is a circuit that control the electromagnet, and then we have uh, the second circuit. Okay, the second circuit. So usually this this one is connected to the electrical appliances. Now usually this one is connected to a very high voltage current, very high voltage current. So if this is this is connected to a very high voltage current, a few thousand volt, so it's very dangerous for us to switch it on and off directly. Okay, it may cause uh, this uh, electric shock if you try to switch it on or off directly. Okay, let's say the switch here. So if you try to switch it on and use your hand to switch it on and off here, it's very dangerous. Uh, so therefore, we use another circuit to switch it on and off. Okay, we use another circuit to switch it on and off. Okay, so uh, what we do is we use this one. This is this is called the first switch. This is called the second switch. So so let's see. We switch this on. We switch this on. Now after we switch this on, there's current flow. Yeah, current will flow in this uh, wire here. Inside this wire, there's current flow, and when the current flow, then this thing it will become a magnet. Okay, it will become a magnet, and if it become a magnet, it will pull this iron armature. It will pull the iron armature. Pull this iron armature. Now let's see what will happen uh, if this iron armature is pulled by the magnet. Uh, pulled by the magnet. Okay, so if it's pulled by the magnet, it will push this switch. Okay, so try to see. Initially, it's disconnected. Uh, it's not connect. It's not connect. But if uh, we switch this on, this become a magnet. It pull the soft iron armature. Uh, it will push. Okay, this end up and connect. The second switch okay and when they connect the second switch okay then the current flow in the second switch okay then it will make the machine operate okay the machine operate and uh, of course uh, if you switch it off okay if you switch it off there's no current flow okay uh, then it will go back to the initial positions uh, okay it will go back to its initial positions okay that's how it works uh. you switch on the currents current flow you pull the iron armatures and uh, then this the, the second switch is on Okay, telephone earpiece. Uh, telephone earpiece. How it work? An electromagnet is used in earpiece of a telephone. Uh, so this shows illustrate illustrations of the telephone earpiece. Let's say your friend give you the call, uh, a phone call. Okay, not handphone. Okay, the house phone. Your 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 friend give you the call. So when uh your friend give you the call, so when he talk, okay. He talk through the phone. Uh, the phone has an earpiece and a speaker. The phone has earpiece and speakers. So when he speak, uh, the speaker will convert the sound energy to electric current. So when your friend speak, so the speakers will convert the sound into electric current. Okay, and that's called the mouthpiece. Uh, the mouthpiece of the telephones. So these currents produce. Uh, will change increase or decrease uh, uh, according to the frequency according to the frequency so uh, so these currents will increase decrease increase decrease increase decrease okay then this current uh, these currents will uh, will flows to your house 
So uh, of course the telecom will, will do his work okay, to, uh, to send this uh, electric currents uh, from your friend's house to your house. Eh? So when this electric currents uh, uh, move from your friend's house to go to your house, and remember the currents will increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Eh? Okay? The current will flow into this uh, magnet here. And when the currents increase, decrease, eh? uh, there's a soft iron core here. So when the current increase, this will become a strong magnet. When the current decrease, it will become a weak magnet. So the, the magnetic field here will also increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Eh? So when the magnetic field here increase, decrease, uh, it will pull this diaphragm. This diaphragm is a ferromagnetic uh, material. Eh? Usually it's an iron or so. Eh? Irons. It's very thin. It's very thin, eh? but it can pull by the magnet. So when the currents increase, decrease, it will cause the magnetic field here also increase, decrease. Eh? So when the magnetic field here increase, decrease, it will pull. When it when when it, it increases, eh, it will pull the diaphragm. Okay. When it decreases, it will let go the diaphragm. So this diaphragm it will vibrate. Okay. It will vibrate when the the current increase, decrease. Eh? Okay. And remember the current here, the frequency of the current is the same as the frequency of the sound of your friend. Therefore, the diaphragm here will, will also vibrate eh, as the same frequency of the the voice. Eh? Or the sounds produced by your friend. So when you, uh, of course, this this is not very loud, eh? so therefore you must put your ear very close to this earpiece. Uh, then you can hear the voice of your friend. Okay, the voice of your friends. So that is how it work. That's how it work. Eh? Your friend talk to the mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece change the sound to electric currents, and electric current is sent to your house, and then the electric currents uh, produce this uh, magnetic effects on uh, this electromagnet okay this electromagnets will cause the diaphragm to vibrate and when it vibrates then it will change uh, it will produce a sound again eh? uh, so that is uh, how it works